Hello, my name is Ryan Slack. I'm a Director of Undergraduate Admissions in the Office of Admission and Enrollment. And today I'll be touching on some useful transfer tools, the application process, admission requirements, and also a couple scholarship opportunities for transfer students. Now, this page is our transfer credit page, and it is where we've tried to compile all of the useful transfer tools in one place. The first link I'd like to point out is the transfer equivalencies table. If you click on that, you can enter the name of your current or previous institution along with the course prefix, and it will automatically load all of those courses and show you how they will transfer to UT Dallas. This is incredibly useful for students who are maybe trying to look back at the courses they've completed and see how those will transfer. The second link on this page is called transfer plans, and this is where we house all of our various transfer plans for every single undergraduate degree that we offer at the university. These plans are set up so that they show you the recommended UT Dallas courses along with the equivalents at any Texas community college all in one convenient place. So once you know what major you'd like to pursue, I recommend printing off the transfer plan for your major and using that as a guide as you select your courses moving forward. Another opportunity we have for prospective transfer students is Common Connection, and this is a partnership we have with every community college in the state. The main benefits that students get excited about within this program is going to be the ability to lock in your tuition rate early and for five years, uh, which is a huge benefit there, and then also the opportunity to meet with academic advisors. So being a Common Connection member, you can actually go speak with an advisor in your academic department at UT Dallas and have more in-depth discussions with them about the courses you'll be taking down the road and also take a detailed look at some of your degree plans. Um, to be eligible for this program, you just need to be a currently enrolled student at any Texas community college with at least 12 credit hours there. You need to be in good academic standing and you need to complete the pre-admission agreement, which you can find at utdallas.edu slash connect, which you'll see on the screen. And once you have that pre-admission form filled out and signed, you can email it to admission at utdallas.edu and we will get you signed up. As far as the application process itself, it is luckily fairly straightforward, and this is an application checklist you can follow as you move through the process. The first step is to apply at Apply Texas. There is a $50 application fee, and then you need to follow up with official transcripts from all previously attended colleges and universities. You have the option to turn in a resume, essay, and up to three letters of recommendation, and then international students will be asked to provide an English proficiency score. Now, as far as when you should get all of this done, you can see there are priority deadlines for every term, and then there are also regular deadlines for both domestic and international students. We highly recommend that you try to get everything turned in by the priority deadline to guarantee that you'll have ample time to apply for scholarships and also get financial aid in order. However, if you can't meet that priority deadline, please make sure that your application and all supporting documents are in by the regular deadline at the latest. Once you've submitted your application and all supporting documents, your application will be reviewed by the admissions committee. It's a holistic review process and you can see the various factors that they're going to be looking at here. The main ones they'll be focusing on will be your cumulative GPA and overall academic performance. They will be looking at your performance in major prerequisite courses and they will also read through all of your optional documents that you've submitted, such as the resume, the essay, and up to three letters of recommendation. All of that will be taken into consideration before a decision is made. Now you can qualify for assured admission if you have between 42 and 90 transferable hours with a 3.0 GPA, or if you are a Common Connection member with an associate's degree, AAAS or AAT with a 3.0, and you're in good standing at the last college attended. Please note that anyone with fewer than 30 credit hours we are recommended to go ahead and submit their high school transcript, SAT or ACT scores, and also the essay so that the committee has more information to review. Now, one of the scholarships I'd like to talk about today is the Comet Transfer Scholarship. This is offered for the fall and spring semesters for Texas residents who have between 30 and 90 transferable credit hours and a GPA falling before, between 3.0 and 4.0. Um, this award is issued automatically, so there's no additional application process for applicants, and the award will be issued depending on where your GPA falls on the scale. The second scholarship I'd like to touch on today is the Phi Theta Kappa Scholarship, or PTK award. Um, students who qualify for this award must be able to provide proof of PTK membership, and they also need to be Texas residents at the time of admission with between 30 and 90 transferable credit hours and a 3.5 GPA. This is awarded automatically for qualifying students, and it does stack with the Comet Transfer Scholarship. It's also important to note that the two scholarships we touched on are not the only opportunities for transfer students. There are plenty of other awards they can apply for, and more information on those is available on our financial aid webpage. 
For more information, please feel free to contact us at any time by emailing admission at utdallas.edu, and a list of all of our virtual resources can be found at the URL on this slide. Thank you so much for your attention and for taking the time to visit with us today.